hey friends welcome to another video in today's video i'll guide you through on how to create this logo design using pizzlab application pizzlab is a cool application for graphic design so let's get right into this tutorial so once you open pizzlab application the first thing we're going to do is to create a shape we take the radius to 100 percent so it can become a circle i will also reduce the opacity then we increase the stroke width to 5 all right, then we're going to increase the circle a little and put it in the middle. Then after that, we're going to create a copy of the circle. All right, then we reduce the copy a little. So we can also put it in the middle. All right, so after we've done that, we're going to import our diagonal vector. Right, there's a link in the video description that will take you to where you can download the tiger vector so i'll click ok then i'm going to increase it a little All right then i'm going to put it there so after that i'm going to add stroke to the vector i'll increase stroke width to three all right then after that we're going to join the vector that's the tiger vector and the circles together all right so after that we're going to erase the white stroke so we click so we go to erase column and click enable it and take this I will take this to 15 and 1. Alright, so after we've done that, we're going to add texture to it. Alright, so after that we're going to add 3D shape to the to the logo. We click enable. We take that to 2 and we take that into 8. Alright. Then we go to shadow, we click enable. We take the blur radius to 5 and offset X to 1 minus one and offset y to one all right then we click emboss we click enabled we take bevel to 100 we take the ambient like 200 then specular hardness we're going to take it to 40 then intensity we take it to 66 all right then we leave the light angle at 90 degrees Okay, okay. All right. So once we've done that, we're going to create a text. We click the plus icon here, we click text, and we double click. So the tiger change it to capital letters. Then we're going to change the fonts. You can also download the font I'm using by going to the video description. I'll put a link to where you can download the materials I use for this logo design. And I click OK. Then I'll change the color to black. All right. Then we bring the text that is in the back also, this one here. We bring it to the font. So I'll click to font. So, complain. We change the capital letters also. And I'm also going to change the font.
and I'll also change the color to black. Then we reduce this text here, we just need to bring it over here. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to join the two texts together. Right? Then we'll also add texture to the text. Okay. Then we'll add 3D shape. We take this to 2. Dark and we take it to 80. Shadow, we click enabled. We take the offset X to 1. Minus 1 and 1. And we take this to 5. And then emboss, we click enabled. Specular hardness, we take it to 40, just as we did for the tiger vector and the circle. Then we take this to 66. Alright, then we click OK. So after we've done that, we're going to join it together. That's the tiger vector, circle, and the text together. Okay. So after I've done that, I'm going to change the image size to YouTube thumbnail. Okay, we put it in the middle. So I'm also going to add the background. Alright, then I click OK. Remember, you can also download the background by going to the video description. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it was helpful, make sure to give the video a like. Share the video with someone you feel may find the video helpful. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe right now so you can see more videos like this. And yeah, also ensure to leave a comment on what you want to post next. Alright, thank you all so much. And if you're interested in watching another logo design tutorial, just click on any of the videos showing on the screen right now. Thank you again. I'll see you guys in the next video.